My name is Brian Rossmade. I was the uh, Cinder PTL for yoga, and um, I have a subtitle on my slide because I couldn't help myself. Okay, so what happened during the cycle? So some good stuff. We've got two new microversions in the block storage API version 3. Uh, 3.67 um, aligns us better with some of the other APIs and helps with a secure RBAC initiative. 3.68 is a very long requested feature. Uh, the Nova patches that use it missed the uh, feature freeze, but should be merged into Zed. So that'll become available for everyone. Uh, we got new drivers of various technologies, NVMe over TCP, uh, Fiber Channel, and iSCSI and Fiber Channel. Um, we also addressed some technical debt. Um, I particularly want to name Stephen Finucane as a hero of Cinder. Um, he's an all round, um, I mean, he's been a long time Nova Core, sort of an all round gunslinger working on various OpenStack projects like Oslo and the documentation and stuff. But he helped us with um, migrate away from SQL Alchemy Migrate to uh, Lembic, which basically um, brings our uh, database stuff into the 21st century. So that was very helpful. And I've declared him a hero of Cinder. And then upcoming in Zed, We've got four new drivers already submitted for uh, NVMe Rocky, NFS, FC, and iSCSI, so all the basic um, backend technologies. We plan to complete phases one and two of the secure RBAC community goal. Um, we plan to do a lot of other stuff too. I'm mentioning this because I'm personally working on it and because I have some more free time because we've got a new PTL for Cinder, Rajat uh, Dasmana who's um, been a long time Cinder core, has been a core longer than me actually. And um, he'll bring some new enthusiasm and excitement to the project. So we're looking forward to what's gonna be going on in Zed. Next slide, please. All right, so the bad, this isn't quite bad, but I mean, I decided the good, the bad and the ugly. So something's gotta be bad. So we have a good variety of contributors, but the bad part is you notice there's an over-dependence on Red Hat. So it's not necessarily bad. I mean, there are a lot of good people working at Red Hat, including me, um, but it's always distressing to see too much over-reliance on one particular company in an open source project. So I'm just sort of tossing that out there. The last statistic at the bottom on the patch sets, I mean, you compare that to the commits and the lines of code, right? So almost twice as many contributors tried to get stuff in as was actually accepted. Um, so that shows you that we've got review bandwidth problems. And our cores are working as hard as they can. So what we really need is more community commitment to the project um, to kind of speed things up. Uh, next slide, please. All right, so the ugly. Um, there's some known issues in the yoga release. Nothing really horrible, but I figure I should point it out. So see the release notes for details. Um, one I wanted to point out is the uh, NVMe over fabric issues. Um, these are were discovered in that OS brick library after the yoga release. Um, the connector for NVMe OF has been refactored over the past few cycles and some legacy issues were discovered that were probably always there but hadn't been detected, but also some regressions. So we're gonna be working on that. Um, I guess the, the reason I wanted to point that out though is um, right, we're making changes so that we can test the connector using um, L the LVM backend in the gates, but we need more and better testing on the actual hardware. Um, so we're looking for people to contribute more tests that can be run by the vendors. Um, so that's so even if you don't have hardware, you can help us write tests. I mean, one thing we discovered was that some of our tests currently don't go far enough. So we may attach and detach something, but the problem doesn't actually show up until you try to reattach or re-detach something. So we need to um, improve our testing. So that's some place where there's a lot of uh, possibilities for people to do some work with us. Uh, so getting involved. So one thing we've got is a resource count survey. Uh, Gork has been working on trying to redesign the quotas system, which has been a pain point for people. Um, but we're trying to get some data on what the size of deployments are. So if you could take a look at that, um, I put these tiny um, URLs there so that you could write them down real quick. Um, and I think Allison's going to toss them in the chat at some point. 
Um, but we've got a resource count survey. If you could take that, please. Um, it was supposed to close yesterday, but I've extended it till Saturday. We just need to get some data before we start discussing stuff at the PTG. And then the PTG is happening next week. Um, so you can go to our planning etherpad to check that out, tinycc slash cinder dash Z. Wednesday is driver's day. So if you're interested in cinder drivers or in helping out with any of the testing I just mentioned, please show up. Um, and then how to contribute and all that kind of stuff, tinycc slash cinder dash info takes you to our contributor page and has all the information. Um, and thank you.